Hi friends, welcome to the August through December 2020 mini catalog, previously called the holiday catalog. It's full of wonderful designs for our fall holidays. Let's turn to page 44. Today I'm featuring the Gilded Autumn Suite, a wonderful collection of fall motifs and fall colors. I purchased the entire suite because that way I have images, colors, textures, ribbons, trinkets, everything that coordinates with the same motifs. On the next page is your stamp set. So this goes from page 44 to 46. Let's take a look at the stamp set. This is a two-step stamp set. You have an image that's an outline and an image that will fill that outline. So together they um, make your completed image or you do have the option of using them separately. You have wheat, little background flower uh, leaves, lots of nice sentiments, and of course your classic motifs, leaves, nuts, wheats, and um, egg, uh, I'm sorry, pine cones. Along with this bundle comes wonderful little shapes in punches that coordinate back to the stamp set. Oak leaf, maple leaf, and an acorn. These punches also coordinate with the designer papers, which is a big plus. You've got the acorn, oak leaf, and maple leaf. Uh, it's on two different sheets, and I love this metallic one. You don't have to worry about getting out um, heat, em heat embossing equipment. You just punch out the metallic images from the paper. So let's look at some samples. This card base is Cajun Craze and it features one of the papers that has lots of the fall colors. It's cut by three, three inches by four inches and these are little metallic punch outs from the designer paper that I just showed you plus some metallic pearls and gives you a nice little accent there in the corner. This is a cute fun fold. The center opens. This um, center card is approximately two and a half inches across by 11 inches and you score at five and a half so you have a long narrow card and you simply attach that to the top of your standard base card. Once again, some metallic leaves and metallic pearls. And that's a really fun little card. Here's a small four and a quarter square card. To make this card, I selected two, sheet, two separate sheets of designer paper and I cut four inches by four inches from each designer paper. Then I cut diagonally and I had two sets of designer paper to make two cards. This has the lovely little metallic ribbon that's in this suite. And also I punched out leaves for this. It's just so easy to add that accent. I like to call this a scrap card because it has smaller pieces of the designer paper. This designer paper measures one and a quarter inch and they were just long strips. I sliced them in half and flipped these two around just for some added interest. This card also shows the new punch and this is the banner pick a punch. It has two different tails and three different sizes for each tail. So you have six different punch sizes from this one punch, and they can be any length that you need. That's a fun punch I'm gonna be using a lot. This is definitely a scrap card. These pieces are one inch wide by four, and I um, alternated them, light, dark, light, dark, light, and I've got two metallics in there. 
So you can see it really adds a lot of interest when you throw in those metallics. So this one really features the papers. This is a fun, fun card. This is fun to make with kids. You just give them the punch and some paper and they go to town. They can punch out lots of little um, leaves and acorns and then you just build them into a wreath. And um, a nice way to start this wreath is to grab something round and I used my little round wheel of um, glue dots. Put that down on your cardstock. Take a pencil and draw a circle just lightly and that gives you a base to add your punched images to. The secret to this card is keep things random. Don't be symmetric. You want them ram random like you'd find in the forest in a pile of leaves. This has the cute little trinkets on it. These acorns are very detailed with a copper finish. They're so cute. They're not particularly mailable. I would hand deliver this or I would mail it in a padded envelope and that would be extra postage. This background is the birch background and the color is the new cinnamon cider in color. This is my final sample. I love this card. Made a coordinating on envelope flap. This card has the lovely um, gold foil on it and these images of the um, of the squash and the pumpkins look like they have been bleached. So that's a very interesting look. You have some of the new basket weave ribbon, which is very, very pretty. I'll get a little closer here. And then those cute little acorns tied on there also. This is a double Z fold. And I think this is such an impressive fold and it's not hard at all. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend it. Get your pencil ready because I'm gonna give you the measurements. If you look at it from this view, you can see here's one Z and here's the other Z. So it's a double Z fold. And you have a nice little place for a, for a message there. But it's very impressive. Here are your measurements for the double Z fold. The base card is 11 by four and a quarter and you're gonna score it at two and three quarters and five and a half. Then the smaller card is eight and one quarter by three with the same scoring at two and three quarters and five and a half. So that's called a double Z fold. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. It's not difficult at all. It just is a little extra scoring. I hope you've enjoyed these ideas and um, it gets you creating for fall. Fall is a really wonderful time to send some holiday cards, especially for Thanksgiving, to show that you're grateful. Please, please visit me at nancyferbshares.com. At my blog, you can order, you can join my team, and I always have tips and tricks for your stamping needs. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day.